SIU was so pumped to receive an invitation from famous chef Keith Saracen to his Atma Goa inspired VIP tasting. We drove an hour and 20 minutes each way to experience this unbelievable awesomeness. I started uh, about two years ago uh, when I sold my businesses and my restaurants uh, to be able to pursue something that I love so much, and that's been exploring food from the Indian subcontinent for the last decade of my life. Um, I get to work with really amazing people, like uh, my guru, Dr. Kurush Dalal, who's a food archaeologist and, uh, and researcher, um, and just way cooler than I'll ever be. Uh, so tonight is a representation of two really interesting uh, cultures, uh, Portugal and Goa. And if they had an amazing bartender there making Goa-inspired cocktail. <laughs> Super refreshing is the first word. I don't even taste the rum, which is dangerous for the Snack Master General. But this is like you can tell a lot of the love has been put into this rum drink. And it is fabulous. This is a 9.1. It was amazing to watch an artist at work. Up next was the first course of the evening, Wealth Fleet Rava Kawa. Yeah. Chef Saracen was back at work setting up the next course, and oh, was it amazing. It was a crab dish, Sapatera Sulcoacana. I'm very excited to eat this. This the presentation is off the charts. When I say this is some of the freshest, it was delicious. The spices, the time release. This is perfection. I am so dead. This is one of off the fantastic stuff on this meal. This is a nine point seven. Third course was a Suki Baji Croquette. All right, look at this. Got to get it all in here. This is a Shuki Suki Baji Croquette. As you know, if I cover my mouth, that means yes. Like I just, the, the yes wants to come out. But so good. There's a little bit of a heat to this, which I love. This, is, this might be my favorite yet. This is a 9.8. We were only halfway through of this amazing feast, and the chefs were back at it again to bring us Choris Pulau. This was a real highlight. Check it out. I'm excited for this. A little bit of heat, really rich. The meat is so juicy and tender. I love this. He has, my man Keith, I'm pointing over there because he's over there, is the absolute man at Master Craft. This is a 9.6. Next up for the fifth course, they were back at it again, baking bread this time. And oh my God, was this bread spectacular. It was a handmade coconut bread to go with perhaps one of the highlights of the whole entire night, the Tale of Vindaloo, a Goa-inspired dish by Chef Saracen. Check it out. Okay, I've been really looking forward to this one. This is a Vindaloo, the Tale of Vindaloo, he calls this dish. Get a, get a Vindaloo sauce on it. Yeah, this might be one of the best things I've ever eaten. What about the bread? Yeah, look at this bread. Coconut. Coconut bread. And I'm gonna dip. This is gonna get an all-time rating from me. Uh-oh. This, might, this whole meal has been off the chart special. But this right here, it's a 9.9. .9. Not a perfect 10. 
I, I very rarely if ever give a 10, but this is damn close. And as the sixth course for dessert, pastéis de tendugal. Hope I said that right, but do it justice. Finally, the last course of dessert. We were just talking with Keith. And these are real Alfonso mango here on the bottom, which I've been dying to try. <laughs> this is so damn good. The pastry is so light. The mango is so vibrant. I can't believe I'm going to do two in a row. 9.9. .9. This has been, without a doubt, one of the finest dining experiences I've ever had. If you are not following Keith Zatterson, you should do it now. So this is a real honor for me tonight. Keith, legend in the Indian food game. Legend just your chef in general. Not a legend, just a student. <laughs> <laughs> Invited me out here to, to his VIP tasting. And I'm going to say this, I'm going to embarrass you. This is one of the best meals I've ever had. Period. As you will see in future videos, one of these dishes got the highest rating I've ever given. <laughs> ever. And I'm not just saying that because you're standing next to me. That's great. So I can't wait to follow you to do more. If you're not following this guy, you should. Thank you. It honors my friend. Thank you.